Today is August 20th at 10.30 and um, this is behind my home in Blue Tree. Um, the water is at the highest it's been. Um, since Tropical Storm Debbie. It wasn't even this high at that time. This is the aftermath of Debbie through all the water rising down the Wakma. And um, this is what behind my home looks like right now. Last year, the stormwater department came in and cleared what they call this ditch. They clear cut it of everything and then clear cut a path right there of trees and everything. And, and this is what it looks like since they've clear cut it. The, the weeds are ridiculous now it wasn't this bad before they literally this all was dirt after they clear cut this what they call a ditch which in fact was once part of Peach Creek but they dammed it right here And they made it an overflow so when Peach Creek rose it would flow in here into the Waccamaw Wildlife Refuge which is right there. But as you can see all the water of Peach Creek, all the rising water has overflowed the dam that they, the stone dam that they built right here. And um, this is what it, it looks like now. And this is the conservation area that Peach Creek flows in. And it is, of course, full of water because of the Waccamaw River rising and coming down Peach Creek. And um, so, yeah, this conservation area 
is flooded and it's literally that far from our condos and this is how far it is from our homes back here if this the, the water is supposedly supposed to crest today so um, yeah you can see how close it is to the back of our homes um, if it had been worse I guess we would be flooded and it has been worse. 14 days after Hurricane Florence, these homes were flooded with two feet of water. After Florence, not during Florence, after. This is after Debbie, not during Debbie. This is what we have to deal with. We have to watch to see what we're going to get after a storm. Peach Creek winds through here in little trenches all through here. There's usually lots of dry area through here. I set up trail cams in here because deer come through here, raccoons, possums. It's usually dry, but Peach Creek is overflowed. This is what our conservation area looks like. When the other side of those trees is the old golf course, which if it should happen, We'll all be gone on this on the other side of this line of trees right here all these trees here they'll all be gone if given the chance and they will be homes all this will be gone way back there way almost a hundred acres that's still left. It will all be gone. And those homes will be much higher. So they don't flood. But their storm water will be forced into Peach Creek, which this is part of, when not dammed. And there is part of Peach Creek. Peach Creek runs through the whole community. During Tropical Storm Debbie, this was rushing water. It was rushing from east to west into the wildlife refuge. And it was rushing through because of all the stormwater drains that way. All their water from their roads is forced down here. 
when all that's gone, it'll be forced into Peach Creek or it'll be forced into the already wet wetlands of the Waccamaw National Wildlife Refuge. And when the wetlands cannot hold any more water, it will come back into Island Green. All that is the wetlands from that big tall tree right there out here is what's left of Island Green's greenery all the way way back there. A most 200 and something homes are to be built. And this is what we have to watch after every storm. Even after three inches of rain. This, the aftermath of Debbie, is literally from Debbie dropping rain in North Carolina. So this is water from North Carolina coming south. This is now the other end of our buildings um, on Blue Tree. This right here is the Waccamaw National Wildlife Refuge. That is now up to here. And these by the homes. How close. The Peach Creek winds through here. And of course it's overflowed. And It's really high. We were once able to walk through here and, and set up trail cams out here as well without a problem. Not sure if you can see them. But there's two white egrets 
right in there. And one here, and then one further back. Oh, there's two white egrets and a great blue egret. Oh, we have a much bigger fishing hole. Or crisis. There's crisis here as well. Let's see if I have this focus. I hope this is focus. Literally from here over is the Waccamaw National Wildlife Refuge. And there was a dam right here to stop Peach Creek from going in there. Um, that's where I was before up there. This is the other end. And literally, <laughs> it's the water is close to the fence. And all that will be gone and those will be homes. 